Hey folks, it's update 93, and uh, let's see, um, we've got a new subscriber, we're up to 78, uh, happens to be Snobby Scrap Picker is the uh, fellow's uh, YouTube channel, so check that out, you can easily do a search for uh, that, um, and let's see, uh, yeah, um, most of you may not realize or some of you may not realize I've done scrap as well for quite a while um, got into it uh, while um, doing some recycling and such in uh, Winnipeg so I have been doing quite a bit but now because of the move from my acreage uh, from the 93 acres I had uh, where I had space to stockpile stuff uh, I don't anymore because I'm in town and I can't really stockpile too much or else uh, things start to look um, like a scrapyard. And uh, I'm not licensed for bulk storage, so um, that's a whole separate license. Uh, I'm planning to, or hoping to, maybe buy a neighboring lot. We'll see, um, depending upon what they want for it, I suppose. Um, and after I pay bills, I've got lots of those to finish up first. Uh, renovation bills and the like and um, yeah anyway so I've done scrap so I do have a scrap section scrapping uh, section on the channel so if you're into doing that uh, check those out and it's also a good way to um, maximize your dollar when you're you've been out picking um, a lot of the uh, junk bits and pieces you get from uh, bulk buys at uh, auctions and such. Oh, I got a troll train. Oh well. Anyway, um, yeah. So anyway, those uh, bulk buys and such, you can end up with uh, a lot of metal items that uh, hold value that you may not realize has any value. Um, they can be scrapped. Um, just with a little bit of work or a little bit of cleaning and cleaning I mean by uh, taking uh, uh, contaminants out of out or off of the uh, uh, items um, like a, a copper pipe with a brass end you take the brass end off and you've got copper and brass and you're able to get better money for it so um, yeah you can maximize your dollar that way um, I've bought stuff at auctions uh, bought pallet lots and uh, such because I'm able to do both um, make money off the scrap out of the pile and the vintage stuff out of the pile and therefore I'm able to buy that those items um, rather than an outbid the uh, other uh, bidders because I'm doing both so I outbid the scrappers and I outbid the uh, vintage guys because, hey, I'm making money on both ends. So it's easy enough to, um, to outbid them. Um, yeah, a pile of copper wire and uh, some uh, lightning rods and such. Well, I'm scrapping the copper and I'm selling the lightning rods. So I'm looking at it uh, from two different angles. So it's, it gives you an advantage. Uh, when you're in a couple different uh, disciplines um, have when you've got a little more knowledge than the next guy it's all the the business is about knowledge really when it comes down to it um, yeah so um, yeah check out the the scrap and videos anyway uh, if you get a chance and uh, maybe make some more money and um, maybe even some of that household junk you've got lying around uh, that you were sending to the thrift shop may have some money potential now um, what else uh, left some bids on a, another online auction one of those auctions that's supposed to be live but uh, because of the uh, whole pandemic is uh, uh, now online and there's 650 lots in this auction uh, I was expecting to find some great stuff, but unfortunately, uh, I bid on maybe a half dozen items, and uh, I've been outbid on at least three, four of them. Uh, so I think I have two or three items left that I'm high bidder on, and I'm hoping I get outbid on them as well, because there's just not a lot of uh, uh, markup left on them, uh, enough to pay uh, for picking them up. So hopefully I get outbid so I can save, save the gas money. 
Um, yeah, what else? Um, yeah, coming into the weekend, it's now Saturday and Sunday tomorrow, so we'll see how sales go. Um, it's been dead all day today. It's Friday, and it's it's obvious that there's not uh, the tourist traffic that there normally is on the highway. Uh, for those of you who do not know, I'm on Highway 1, the Trans-Canada, which is the major thoroughfare through uh, Canada and uh, from coast to coast. And as such, usually we have lots of tourists, but uh, not this year. And I tend to rely on that those funds, so I've um, been doing a little more uh, pushing of inventory and such, and uh, relying more on regulars, actually, that uh, come through. So, um, yeah, and uh, making a little extra on, on scrap and such uh, is a, a possibility. But, uh, like I said, I can't stockpile like I used to. I uh, can't pick up a, a ton of microwaves and uh, washing machines and uh, such and scrap them out because it's uh, I just don't have the, the licensing for it. So, that's a problem when you uh, are in town. But, uh, yeah, uh, I've got enough as it is in the back that uh, I don't want to push it. So, um, and the, the back's been cleaned up some more. Um, grass isn't uh, waist high anymore. It's down a couple inches high and uh, no longer uh, uh, wood to confess to jungle. So, that's good. And, yeah, um... Well, we'll add more to the update shortly. Uh, you'll see it in a second. So it's Saturday, and I uh, found out about a town-wide yard sale or yard sales happening in a nearby community. And I uh, found out a bit late, about 10 o'clock, but I raced there anyway. And um, it was almost a bust. There was lots of uh, kids' clothes and uh, modern bric-a-brac, not much for vintage. Um, but I did end up stopping at one guy's place and I got a hay trolley. Uh, this Loudon Jr. Uh, pretty cool. I bought it and a uh, leg vise. This the hay trolley unfortunately has a little broken piece here, which I didn't realize when I bought it. Uh, or when I made my offer, but um, but still, it's a good piece, and got a leg vise as well, right down here, so I got a decent leg vise, and uh, yeah, made a, a good offer on them, though, to get them, uh, it's not like I got them for a, a bargain or a pittance, but uh, I did get them, so that's good. Should uh, be able to sell them. But uh, other than that, it was uh, close to a bust. So, yeah. But, anyway, got me out of the building. So, that's good. I should also mention there was a uh, F2 or F3 tornado touchdown not far from town. Um... And uh, my condolences and thoughts go out to those families affected. Um, I had heard there was some deaths. So um, uh, there was a farm flattened and uh, vehicles flipped over, etc. So uh, thoughts go out to those affected by that. Um, yeah, sorry to hear. Um, one of those things that uh, are pretty dramatic and... Uh, pretty traumatic when uh, you're involved directly in them. I had a close call myself uh, a few years ago with a tornado going over uh, my house and uh, it was one of the uh, uh, was one of I think four different or four funnel clouds or four tornadoes in the same uh, system and it was dying about that time and uh, it was um, in the evening and it got very dark torrential rain and uh, there was a big flash um, lightning struck somewhere near the house I was in the basement at the time and uh, through the little tiny window uh, it lit up the basement like a camera flash uh, quite uh, dramatic and 
luckily the um, funnel cloud was, or the funnel was bouncing up and down. Basically, it was going up back into the sky and then coming down again um, and tore through some bush and about six feet up the trees. It basically twisted the trees around and then snapped them. So you can imagine the power of that, that wind. Um, and uh, it went through that bush then lifted up just before a building that I have and uh, went over that building and went over the house and settled down again on a hill um, just a little ways away from the house. So it was very close. Uh, Patrick and I, my, my pup, and I were in the basement uh, under the stairs just <laughs> wondering what was going on. I thought it was just high winds, but uh, when I went out in the morning and saw the uh, trees twisted, I realized it was actually a, a tornado. Anyway, so that was a close call. Um, and it worked out uh, uh, to not be as, as bad as it could have been. Uh, it could have torn right through the house and right through the buildings and everything else. It just made a mess of the yard and uh, tore some shingles off, which was an insurance claim. But uh, uh, it was far better than it could have been. So, anyway... Um, yeah, just, uh, my own close call there, but, uh, yeah, um, and there's not really much more to say in this update, uh, it's now Saturday at about, uh, 20 to 1, and, uh, hasn't been anybody through yet, but, uh, we'll see, I'm sure there will be somebody, uh, there is activities in town today, so, we'll see. Anyway. Uh, I'll uh, do another update soon, uh, but uh, I think this one's pretty much done. So happy picking, safe picking, take care. Yeah, yes, it's contest time. And we've got a mini knife. Mother of pearl handle, stainless steel blade. It's a little bit sharp, so careful when you're opening the box there but uh, it's at your own risk but, uh, there she is it's a little tiny knife and uh, like I said mother of pearl handle it's pretty shiny going in the box happy picking safe picking take care